What's going on everybody? This is Jaden with Hot Apple and today I want to highlight a feature that came out on iPhones a long time ago actually with the iPhone 6s all the way up to what we have now and I guarantee you many of you don't use this feature to the point to the you know to the extent that you could use it and that is 3D touch. Now 3D touch was introduced with the iPhone 6s like I just said and what it is is instead of just clicking on an, on an app using the touch screen you know like you normally would just touching an app I guess touching not clicking but anyway touching an app you can actually now push it and exert pressure through your finger and it'll give you different options than just tapping on it so we're gonna go through those things today and I'm gonna show you quite a bit and maybe some things you knew but I guarantee you, you're gonna learn something you didn't know at least something so let's get started alright so I'm in my iPhone now and right from the home screen, using Force Touch, I can actually access options or quick options to do things with each app. For example, if I Force Touch on the Notes app, that means push it as if it was a button, not just tapping on it, but pushing it and put pressure. If I do that on Notes, it'll actually give me the options for a new note, new checklist, new photo, or a new sketch. So if I don't want to open up the app or I need to take a quick note, I can just Force Touch and hit New Note. Let's say the phone app that gives me these options right here. I would see myself using to create new contact because if I meet somebody or whatever, I need to put their phone in my put their number in my phone. Then I can just force touch on the phone app and it'll give me create a new contact right there. Say iMessage. These are people that I've recently had conversation with, or I can make a new message right from there. Uh, email is the same thing. You know, it gives me people that I've been corresponding with through email. I can make a new message. I can search, you know, look at my VIP and so forth. Uh, Snapchat, this one, this one comes in handy. Now, Apple has their own features with their apps that come on their phones, but developers can also implement 3D touch features into their apps. Not all apps have it, but there are a lot that do. Snapchat is popular, so you know they're going to take advantage of the features. So right from here, I can look at the people that I've recently spoke with or chatted with, whatever you want to say. I can add a friend. I can chat with somebody. Um, that'll pull. It'll pull up the little search bar right there to go ahead and type a friend in. I don't have to go, you know, open up the app and navigate and then hit new. I don't have to do all that. I can use 3D Touch, and that's, you know, perfect. Twitter, same thing. I'm sure Trump would love this video if he saw this if he had an iPhone. But I can force touch on Twitter and hit new tweet, new message, scan, whatever. The music app, and I'm, just going I'm just going through a few apps to show you what Force Touch does and the options that it gives you. Um, if I don't wanna open up music, I can come right here and listen to some of my playlists or some recent artists that I've listened to. Um, same with, let's say, Safari. Now, <laughs> this is pretty cool. If you have something up in Safari and you don't want people seeing it, whatever you're looking at, um, you can actually force touch on Safari and you can click a new tab, new private tab, whatever. Let's just do it. I'm going to click on new private tab. That'll take me directly to the tab and I can, I don't, they don't have to see what I, what I have up any, any web browser, um, you know, any pages that I have open at the moment. This will take them directly to a new page. So that's pretty quick and easy. Um, also, Twitch, if you watch Twitch, this will show you who's on, who's online right now, and you can also stream, whatever, um, just go, you know, it's quick. Um, my maps, I can send my location, I don't got to go to messages and then try to, you know, hit send location, I can do it right here um, from the 3D, so from the home screen using 3D Touch with the Maps app. I like this one. Uh, app. Oops, didn't mean to do that. The App Store. If I force touch on it, I can actually. Okay, <laughs> I must already have all my apps updated. But if you don't have all your apps updated and you want to check for app updates, if you force touch on that, it'll show update all apps. So you can actually update apps right from here instead of going in, you know, and updating it that way. If you don't have automatic updates turned on, um, settings, you know that'll give you some of those options and hmm, that's pretty much that pretty much gives you a good little demo of 
how you can do things. Oh, let's look at this one. Uh, okay, the group SMS, that does not have any kind of options. The developer didn't put anything. They did not utilize 3D Touch in their app. So if you have an app like that, when you 3D Touch it, it'll just show, share, whatever the app is. So I guess that is what it is. Um, if you go into the control center, now, if you know how to access control center. If you're on an iPhone 10, then you would go to the top right corner and swipe down. If you're on anything other than that, you would go from the bottom up. I think iPhone 8 goes from the bottom up. Leave a comment if I'm mistaken. But anyway, so some people ask how to turn on the personal hotspot, and they, you know, it says it's in the control center, but you actually have to use force touch in order to get to that. So you see this little block right here. I'm going to force touch on it and it gives me more options actually than what you saw in the beginning. So my personal hotspots right there, my airdrop is right there. I can turn it on and off. Let's say my music. Matter of fact, I'm going to come here. I'm going to play something out of there. And if I force touch on it, it'll give me more information. I can also uh, rewind and so forth. Um, the dock connector that'll give you, you know, if you have multiple Apple TVs, you can do that. Calculator. Some of them don't have options like I think this, the watch. See, that doesn't do anything. It's just kind of whatever. Um, the voice record is pretty cool. I can click on that and hit new recording if you got to quickly record somebody saying something and you don't want to go in there have it pop up show the big old you know record button and everything's obvious then you can just pop that and hit new recording camera if you want to hurry up and take a video you want to do a, a slow motion video you can access it right here without having to waste time going into your app sliding over hurrying up trying to not to miss the you know miss what you're trying to get so that's that also, notification center. Notification center, you can actually push stuff. Like let's say I push on that, I can reply back. And that's that, you know. So anyway, now you see what I be texting all the time. So that's the control center. And also if you have, I'm sorry, that's the notification center. If you have any other notifications, like uh, matter of fact, let me turn on airplane mode because everybody's gonna start texting and replying to me. Um, from here, if you have other things, like reminders or calendar events, whatever, you can also force touch on those and it'll give you other options. With the text messages, it lets you reply. So that's that. All right. So now I went ahead. I'm in the messages app, the iMessage app, and I'm going to show you some things you can actually do with 3D Touch inside the apps as well. They do have 3D Touch integrated throughout the phone. Uh, well, at least on Apple apps, developers they do their own thing. So within iMessage, let's say Samantha texts me, and I don't want to actually read the message. I want to uh, just preview it. I can lightly force touch. Don't touch it all the way, but lightly press on it. I can open it like that and it'll give me a preview. And if I want to reply a quick response, I can slide up. Nothing I want to say, I can slide back down and let go. That'll give me a preview and it still shows that the message is read. Now, if I push it and push even harder, it actually open the message. So let's go into a text message thread and show you some things okay <laughs> so you know how whenever you try to correct that one little word or that one little letter and you got to click it and you know try to find it and uh, you know get that one little uh, H you know well, with force touch or 3D touch, whatever, you can, on the keyboard portion, you can actually force touch, 
and navigate around like that so I can find exactly what I want. Now, uh, hopefully you're not having problems like I'm having. However, the point is that you can actually navigate by pushing down on the uh, keyboard and sliding your finger around that way instead of having to, you know, do this, which might actually work a little better. But anyway, that's one thing. Also, if I want to delete, you know how you can kind of hold it or whatever and it deletes. Well, if you force touch the delete button, it'll actually delete faster. So depending on how hard you touch it. So I can actually do like this, touch it hard, and it deletes everything. So that's something you can do as well. Um, pictures, so I can force touch on a picture, like lightly touch it. Don't, you know, don't push it all the way because that actually open up the picture. But if you lightly touch it, you can get some options. I can save, so forth. Uh, within there, if I send a message, let's say, if I send a website, I can actually lightly force touch on it and that would give me a preview of that website within iMessages so that way I don't have to leave it, check out what it is and then come back. I can just do it right from here. So also if I send a message, with a send button, if I force touch on that, then I get different options that you can actually do. I can do the invisible ink, I can do gentle, loud, you know, whatever. I'll go over to screens, I can do different things with that. Slide over and get different effects within iMessage. Whatever. So that's with Force Touch on iMessage. Those are just a few things that you can do within that iMessage so you can enhance your experience, you know? So let's move on. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some things within my Photos app. I'm gonna use videos, but you can do the same thing with photos as well. Um, if you'd lightly, now you're gonna to have to try this for yourself because you'll understand what I mean by lightly force touch. So if you lightly force touch on one of the videos, it'll give me a preview. I can watch it that way instead of actually opening it up. I can slide up and I can share it, favorite, you know, show photos from this day or delete. So that gives you some options as well on what to do with some photos. So. That's another thing you can do within the Photos app. So I'm gonna show you one more thing and that is involving the settings um, for 3D Touch. But before I do that, if you made it this far and throughout the video, I want you to go to the comments. These are my special instructions. I want you to go to the comments and I want you to type in the comments, I know how to Apple without the E. Now, I'm saying without the E, I mean write it out in parentheses without the E. So do that for me guys and just, just show me that you actually watched the video. And hopefully y'all did. Hopefully you're not falling off. Maybe if I'm too boring, then let me know how to liven things up. Give me suggestions down there. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna go into settings real quick and show you how to change the sensitivity of your 3D touch just in case you don't like it or it's too sensitive or you feel like you're about to break your finger trying to push it. You can lighten it up. Go to accessibility. Hopefully you saw that was a general with accessibility. Scroll down, 3D touch. Right here, I can turn it on and off if you don't you don't want 3D touch. Um, I can also raise it up to firm. That'll you can test it if you click on that picture. I actually like that. But anyway, you can make it light. It makes it really uh, The difference is, it's not that much of a difference, but anyway, play with that. That's how you do it. That's just so you know. You can turn that however you want it. So if you like this video, you thought it was helpful, then leave that comment down below. If you don't know what comment I'm talking about, then you need to go back in the video and find it where it is. If you are trying to fast forward to the end of the video to get my special instructions. But anyway, like the video, subscribe to my channel, share it out. Um, you can add me on some of my links that are down below on the social media that I have for this account. And that is how you use 3D Touch, how you use some things on your phone, and uh, how to Apple without the E.